Hello everyone, Scott Smith here with Aspen Avionics, coming to you at uh, 9,000 feet. I got my brand new E5 just installed on the uh, co-pilot side uh, for demo purposes and wanted to go over exactly what it is, what it isn't, uh, clear up some misconceptions. So it's an IFR certified uh, electronic flight display and it gives you uh, your airspeed, attitude, altimeter, it has a slave compass, with your course needle on top of it and the CDI needle. Uh, also has GPSS rail steering built in and some other uh, nice features that we'll go over. Uh, as far as what's required is backup. So some really cool stuff. You don't have to keep your attitude indicator. So that means you can pull out your attitude indicator and remove the vacuum system at the same time as this is certified as a primary attitude indicator. And you'll notice uh, over here on the left, uh, left hand side that uh, we have airspeed here, we have atti attitude here, and your attitude gives you a nice big uh, scale. And we give you a line every two and a half degrees on that attitude indicator instead of a traditional five degrees. So it's very precise and makes it uh, nice when you're uh, for pitch change. Your altimeter tape over here is pretty self-explanatory. We have uh, uh, this uh, line coming across the middle, which gives you ground speed and barrel. You want to come down on the right-hand side. You've got three hot keys or soft keys, and you can manipulate the display if you want to do arc mode or 360 mode. We have GPSS built in. I call that George Pilot Super Stud, and that is actually uh, built in, comes with the system. Uh, barrel, self-explanatory, we're going to go in and set the barrel. The lower right-hand knob here, if you just start turning it, it brings up the heading bug, allows you to dial in the heading. If you hold in on it, it's going to sync up to your current heading. Pretty simple to use. If you push in on that, it's going to come up and give you the altitude alerter. And on that altitude alerter, I can dial in whatever altitude I want, and I get a bug on my altitude altimeter tape that shows me uh, as I approach or if I'm leaving that altitude. Come across the middle here, I've got uh, GPS 1, and you have uh, two inputs. So you have GPS and NAV. And so we have GPS 1 here, and right above that you'll see my CDI needle. So here's my CDI needle here, and here's my course needle here. So you get course needle, you have a slave compass, and then your CDI needle at the bottom. So over here to the left-hand side, this knob uh, will control course and also set your airspeed bug, and that's just a pilot's reference bug. They just gave me direct home, so I'm going to put that in. All right, so anyway, the uh, bug is just for pilots. Uh, reference and I, you know, you put that in at whatever you'd like. You know, people use it for climbing out or approach speeds. Um, I leave it at 120 in here, and you'll see the bug there. Underneath menu, you can manipulate and change things. If I want to get rid of the tapes, just have a nice big attitude indicator. I can do that. I can change my V speeds. So you can put in your different V speeds, VA, uh, VREF, VR, all these different speeds that you can put in. So like let's say I want to set VA, and you'll notice over here on the airspeed table as I dial in the uh, airspeed for whatever whatever the VA is, and this one is 135. If I put in 135 and it marks that on the airspeed tape. So that's nice, all your, all your uh, V speeds. Here on on, uh, on top of the uh, compass, you've got what your course is, and notice A, the A means auto, and A here as well, auto course, auto course. So for auto course, it's it's uh, slave to your GPS, and so it's going to automatically set the course for you as you're going down your flight plan, so you don't have to reach up and dial in a course, it just automatically sets that. And notice right on top of the green course, so you've got this little diamond. That diamond is your track. 
and what you're tracking across the ground. So if I'm hand flying the aircraft, I will push that diamond on top of the green course arrow, and that's going to keep my CDI needle straight. Right above that is my actual heading. What is my heading? It's uh, 25. Come over here, I've got uh, what my heading bug set to, which is 18. And again, if I want to sync that up, I can just hold in on the button. It's going to sync up to my current heading. Nice feature. Uh, when you're shooting an approach, and we'll go over that in a different video, but we have glide slope here and localizer here. Again, folks, just a quick, uh, quick brief overview of our uh, new E5 from Aspen Avionics. Uh, for, for more questions, please feel uh, free to reach out to us. Go to our website, aspenavionics.com. Uh, we'd love to chat with you. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us.